there's a few words that evoke an immediate and visceral response from us. Words like dinner. Especially when it's part of a phrase like Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving dinner or family dinner or Sunday dinner. We like being invited to dinner. We like offers to take us to dinner. We like sharing dinner. We humans bond over meals in ways that few other things can elicit. We form bonds, we strengthen bonds, and we repair bonds over meals. It's true of virtually all of us. We're hardwired that way. And Jesus knows these things about us. He wired us. Yeah. So, so he, he knows how we operate. One of the last things he did during his walk here on earth was to share a meal with his disciples. He knew his time was near, and he wanted to leave them with that memory. He chose a special meal in Jewish culture, the Feast of the Passover. This meal is as special to Jews as Christmas dinner is to us. Maybe more. It's a very ancient tradition. It's a family time. It's a holy, sacred meal in which Jews the world over remember God's deliverance. And it's no accident that Jesus chose this particular meal for this time. He knew that his disciples would carry that memory for their lifetime. He also wants to share that memory with all who call on his name. Paul relates in 1 Corinthians chapters, chapter 11, verses 24 and 25. When he had given thanks, he broke the bread and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. We do want to remember. We want to remember that God delivered the Jews from slavery. We remember that Jesus delivered us from our sins. We remember that he wants to bond with us over this meal. So we share this meal with him at his invitation. We share it with all who are gathered here. We share it with Christians everywhere. That's why we call it communion. We accept his invitation, thankfully. Will you pray with me? Father, we thank you that we have been invited to share this meal. We thank you that we share in this communion. We thank you that we have the privilege to remember and we promise we will never forget. Bless us in our forgetfulness. These things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.